This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 13, October, 2019. Senior SDF official Red Ozelil says defending ISIL prisons is not a priority anymore due to the fighting. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw United States troops from the area effectively triggered the Turkish incursion against the SDF, the main Western allies in the fight against IS. In his statement on Saturday, SDF official Red Ozelil demanded the United States help protect the Kurdish fighters by closing airspace to Turkish planes, describing it as a moral obligation. President Lenin Marino orders Kafu and the militarization of the capital as the conflict worsens. The president of Ecuador, Lenin Marino, declared a Kafu and militarization in the country's capital Quito on Saturday to help security forces quell ongoing protests sparked by austerity measures. The order went into effect at 3 p.m. and would facilitate the work of public forces against intolerable outbreaks of violence, Marino said on Twitter. They also announced some potential amendments to a controversial economic package, but did not go back on the decision to remove fuel subsidies that has led people to take to streets across the nation in protest. A hard rock hotel and casino under construction in New Orleans partially collapsed, killing one person and injuring at least 18. The collapse, which was reported at around 9 a.m., prompted the authorities to evacuate buildings surrounding the hotel and cordon off an area near the French Quarter that is often packed with tourists. John Bell Edwards of Louisiana, who had a day of re-election campaign events, scheduled as polls were opened for a statewide primary race, were routed to the site of the collapse on Saturday. Eliud Kipchoge finishes a marathon in Vienna in one hour, 59 minutes, and 40 seconds, assisted by a car and using a fleet of pacemakers. I am the happiest man, Kipchoge said after the unofficial Tahal Marathon, adding that he hopes to have inspired many that no human is limited. Kipchoge was on target to break the record during the first half of Vienna's Prater Park on Saturday, after completing 21 kilometers in 59.35 minutes. The Pentagon announces the deployment of 1,000 to 3,000 U.S. troops to Saudi Arabia to deter Iranian aggression. The carrier USS Harry S. Truman, which was scheduled to deploy to the region in the last several weeks, has been unable to sail, due to a broken electrical distribution system. Gen. Frank McKenzie, head of United States Central Command, had long wanted additional air, ground and maritime forces, especially after a devastating September attack on Saudi oil facilities that the United States has attributed to Iran.